Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that tail. That's one happy calf. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mm. What's all this groaning about? Mm. Oh, on, Somebody Put likes the apple mash. Well, here we are starting another morning, making up some buddy food. Okay, we're locked and loaded on this frosty morning. It's been dipping down to, oh, I think we hit 27 degrees the other night. Um, uh oh, I hear a moo already. One of the things I've been working on is uh, these drains along the driveway. Um, water tends to come down the when it's raining hard down the driveway and flood the backyard and the last thing we need is more groundwater in the area of the septic tank because we already have a little bit of groundwater seeping in and the more groundwater that seeps in and it seeps into this front tank with the basket on it um, but the more water that leaks in the more that spills over into the back tank and the more water we have to pump way up to the top of the pasture just beneath those two big trees so the less pumping we have to do the better um, so dad had installed a little bit of a French drain here between these two uh, piles of river rock and uh, and then from there it heads out I installed this little clean out valve here next to the garden hose but it heads pretty much straight across the backyard and out into the pasture. So I opened all the, the uh, tops of those and I shoved the garden hose down there every couple of years to make sure that it's clean. But uh, I had wanted to build something a little bit more of a filter going in. Because I know, uh, especially this other one, it was just an open hole. And so leaves and dirt and everything could wash down there, clog it up possibly. This one I, I replaced and actually put in a little drain box a while ago. And uh, in fact, just before I covered it up with rock, you can kind of see there's a little drain there that prevents stuff from going through, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we're working on trying to keep the debris out. And here we are over on the other side of the lawn behind the house and this is where that drain pipe exits the driveway drain and uh, pull that away comes out here and I just cleaned all this out uh, last week because it's all completely overgrown and so what I'm hoping to do is put in a I don't know that I'll use that block, but maybe put a little block in there to hopefully uh, protect that exit and then um, dig that out and I'm mid-process but it'll look like this. Um, there's two more drains here <clears throat> and they drain the, the downspouts from the house and there's a actually a, a a French drain around the foundation of the house. Those two pipes come out here just beneath Just behind this Stone here, so I put that in there and they they dump into between the cinder block and underneath and Been filling it with this river rock that I got yesterday That's about the same thing we want to do over here and then hopefully all that stuff will stay pretty clear and and uh, drain very well because it's downhill. Definitely looking like fall down at Camp A. It's 
So I still got a little bit of the river rock left to get rid of. I got that one little trench to fill, but I think we'll probably maybe set some of that around Camp A, around the fire pit. Yeah, a couple of nights of this frost, and that pretty much took care of the rest of the garden. So Buddy was, uh, what, five weeks old yesterday. And we've got, oh, probably another three weeks or so of bottle feeding to go. Well, good morning, everybody. How's the move crew and ma? Sorry, lambs. The ma and the moo crew. <coughs> and we're doing our morning dance. Let's see our morning dance. How about the I want some milk dance? Yep, dance, dance, dance. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm hungry, 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 hungry. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Quit dawdling, Dale. All right, let's see if we can solve that problem. Here we go. Nummy, 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 nummy. Sure wish we had some. Feeding time. All the heads are in the corner. Except Buddy, who's looking for faucets elsewhere. I don't think that's going to work out for you, Buddy. Well, heading out for morning chores on Friday the 30th of October. And we have a little bit of leaves hitting the ground. We've got our buddy stuff ready to go. And uh, have a little bit of leaf color cooking here. Isn't that nice? Here's what I've been working on this week in the garden. We have a whole lot less of a compost pile than we did a couple days ago. And I've been spreading it down the garden over there. So that part of the garden will be happy. That's about where I'm gonna quit because that stuff's pretty new and fresh. So boy, black gold down there and Pretty active with critters, bugs, worms. So, isn't that pretty? Hard to believe, but uh, let's see. Again, this is Friday the 30th. Buddy is going to be six weeks old on Monday. So in a couple of days. And then we'll start tapering him back a little bit. Uh, start the weaning process. Okay, the big ones are all out, but who's left in here this morning? Is anybody ready for a morning bottle? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, let's do the morning bottle dance. Dot, 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 dot. He can dance. Let's dance again. Well, good morning there, everybody. Everybody's having their morning treats. And Buddy's still trying to find a faucet. Everybody must have a faucet they're hiding. It's, it's just can, it's one of those uh, deep, <coughs> not deep state, but deep barn conspiracy theories, isn't it, dear buddy? Yeah. Everybody's hiding the faucets on you. Except me, by the way. I bring them all uh, twice a day. Well, I had hoped we were heading for a little prettier colors in the vineyard for the fall. But we had about three or four nights of uh, fairly decisive frost. Not on the edge, but you know, like down to 27, 28. And uh, boy, they just went right over. Yep, that's enough for us, see you next year. And we got one that's just totally without this little conquered here, totally without anything. So it's uh, ready for winter. I'm gonna take my nap now. Yep, there's our compost pile. Black gold. 
this little maple tree needs to go away before it becomes a big one it has <coughs> roots all over the garden but uh, before it does we're gonna let the one last fall happen because it has some really nice leaves going on in here it's too big I wish I could transplant it I found one like it this spring I'm pretty sure it's the same thing and I dug that up and transplanted it it's doing well had some leftover river rock from our drain project so I decided to put a little base under the fire pit there well, Terry and I had a, a little delightful little afternoon break in here yesterday in the greenhouse we're coming to sort of view this more and more as a possible have a dust as a destination spot it's awfully nice out here set up a few chairs and we're starting to put up some ornaments and uh, I have a couple of projects to do in here this winter, um, including uh, rigging that, <clears throat> a little better than that, that's for an overhead light, and then this is a uh, just a live outlet that we never really actually got around to after the rebuild. Um, I mean, we they were there and we accommodated them uh, through the rebuild. That new ledger board went up there, poked holes for the wires to go through, and sunk those in and all, but uh, yeah. And one of these days I need to get to refinishing, or finishing the walls in here. And uh, we do have, we're just gonna use that old those old one inch boards from the deck roof. Well, I'm finishing up, or maybe half finished, okay. Moving this wood pile of wood chips, uh, spreading it on the garden for mulch. And this is uh, Bill next door over here. He had a couple of trees removed, oh, last June or so, and uh, they chipped them all. And I said, hey, what are you doing with that? He <laughs> says, you want them? I said, yeah, sure. So they just hauled them over, did, did, did everybody a favor. So, although I wish the garden had been ready for them at that time, they could have just dumped them there. But, oh well, I don't have to pay for a, a gym. I can't believe all the beautiful red around the place right now. This one at the front corner of the house is always pretty. Got a little bit of red berries on the holly. Kind of getting ready for Christmas here, aren't we? Now I gotta go, we got plenty of ivy. Looks like a blackberry in there too. What's that doing there? And I'm finishing up a bit of a, a little bit of a agricultural burn, let's just say. Taking a little tour of the red. Pressure. Let's see if this old fart remembers how to back up the trailer correctly. I want it right next to the raspberries. Woo -wee. He done okay. Now we got to come out, dump that trailer, lift the gate, put that in the back. There we go. Boom. 
And then we got to pull ahead a bit. So it dumps. Yeah, that ought to be empty. There you go. Slick as a whistle.